Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. This is the wow we're going to do today. We're going to create three different animations using the same one logo. So this is the first animation. It's pretty cool. I'll play again. And the second animation with the same logo is this. See the difference? Again. Okay, and animation number three is this. Okay, I will play again. Animation number one, animation number two, animation number three. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so first please download this logo image. Uh, you can download it from the link uh, from the, uh, provided. So uh, once you download it, open in a, uh, Adobe Illustrator. Then open your new Adobe Animate uh, document. The size is going to be 600 pixel by 600 pixel, 30 frame rate, and HTML5 canvas. Create it. Let me double click my hand tool so I can view the whole thing. I'm going to change my stage color to black. Okay, then back to Illustrator. Select the whole thing. And let me copy this. And back to Adobe Animate. On first frame, let me paste this center. And check the second one, paste using AI file. Okay, so there are the eight different elements, and we're going to uh, assign uh, um, a layer per object. So go to Modify menu, Timeline, Distribute to Layers. So there are eight layers on order. See? Okay, then first, uh, we're going to create yeah, the classic twin at a time. So highlight the frame number 10 on the bottom layer, hold down the Shift key, Click on the frame number 10 on top layer, then insert just the keyframe. Keyframe. See the, the gray uh, segment. Now select the layer, the bottom layer. Click, uh, hold down the shift key and click on the top layer so we can select the whole thing. Then place your mouse cursor between anywhere, uh, between 1 and 10, and hold down the control. Any layer is fine. Click and create classic twin. That's it. Okay. Then now we're going to do something. So please place the other your playhead at the very beginning. Just rewind it. And let me select this first uh, bar, the gold bar. And then I select this bar, the first and the uh, third one. See that? And then I'm going to move it to somewhere there. Okay. Now. Still, I'm on frame number one. Hit see, and select the other second one, and the fourth one. I'm gonna move this down to somewhere here. Okay. Now, select the um, uh, the first one. Hold down the shift key, and the third one, and move this together to the top. And then select the end, the second one and the fourth one and move it to the bottom, somewhere like this. Okay, and this happens. Isn't it cool? It's okay. Uh, I want to rewind it again and let me select the whole thing, all eight bars on the first keyframe and click on one of them. Then on your properties panel, still there all eight bars are selected. You see the color effects, choose alpha and down to zero. So this happens. Okay, just okay. Uh, let me give some little more stuff. On the first keyframe, so let me highlight all first keyframes. I'm going to uh, change the ease option on your properties panel up to 100. And watch. 
You see the difference? It's getting faster, and I mean, yeah, it's a slower. Okay, so it's good, but uh, let's give some more dynamics. Uh, first one on the bottom layer, I'm gonna keep it as it is, and then let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, and on my second layer from the bottom, select it, keep pressing your mouse button. I'm gonna move it to the right, maybe three more frames, like this. And the third one, same way, three more frames. Next, three more, and the next, three more, and the next, three more, next, three more, and the last. Okay, so once you play it, this happens. And then uh, <clears throat> I need to keep the other, all other bars. So, uh, highlight the frame number 31, in my case. On the second layer from the top, hold down the shift key, click on the bottom layer's frame, and insert the keyframe. So this will happen. Isn't it nice? Okay, let me zoom out. And then also, so this is a kind of a, almost the one second animation. I want to make it stay maybe three more seconds so people have the enough time to read it. So um, one second, so let me highlight four second mark on top layer, insert the other, hold down the shift key, and click on the bottom layers, uh, four second mark, and insert the keyframe, and play it. Okay, so let me save this one first. File, save as. I'm going to save as uh, animation number one. And let me export as MP4 file. Uh, but make sure your, uh, your the Adobe Media Encoder is open. Okay. <clears throat> so go to File. <clears throat> Excuse me. Export. Export to Video and Media. Same entire movie. And format is important. Uh, H.264 and default. And then my location is supposed to be uh, my folder. So animation number one. Save it. Export it. Let me check my folder. So I have an animation number one mp4 file. Let me play it. See? So if you upload this on your Instagram, it will play and stay three seconds and it will replay. It's looping. So first one is done. Now number two, I will do the same way. Same size, 600 pixel by 600 pixel dimension, 30 frame rate, HTML5 canvas created. And double click your hand tool so we can view the whole thing. And the stage color, same, black. Now, in Adobe Illustrator, we're gonna keep using the same logo, same symbol. So let me copy this. And then back to animate and let me paste in center. Check the second radio button. Okay. And same deal. Under modify menu, timeline, distribute to layers. Okay. So first, uh, the, uh, the bottom four layers is the end of the bar on the left. Select the whole thing. Oh, I'm sorry, not yet. Okay, so first let's create the classic twin first. Highlight the frame number 10, hold down the shift key, highlight the frame number 10 on top layer, so we select all 10 frames, then insert the keyframe. Now select the bottom layer, hold down the shift key, click on top layer so we can select everything, and then hold down the control key, select any layers, any frame in between 1 and 10, then create classic twin. Okay, now I'm going to rewind it to the beginning. So first, let me select uh, first the bottom four. The bars, the four bars on the left. I'm going to move it out of stage like this. Okay, and then let me select this time these four bars. I'm going to move it to somewhere maybe here. Just like that. Okay. 
So this happens. Okay, and also at the very beginning on my first keyframe, let me select the whole thing. And then I want to change the alpha value down to zero. So it's going to be fading in. Okay, oh, and then let's change the ease options. So let me highlight the first keyframe of all layers. Then in your properties panel, ease options, 100. And watch. Okay. Now, like we did from the first one, I'm going to give some little bit different time gap. So first layer on the bottom, leave it as it is. Second layer, let me zoom in so we can view it better. Second layer, let me hold down the, uh, uh, keep pressing my mouse button. I'm going to move to the right, maybe three more frames. Third layer, same way, three more. Next layer, three more. Next layer, three more. Next layer, three more. Next, three more. And the next, three more. Okay, and then I need to keep the all other bars up to this uh, frame number 31. So highlight the frame number 31 on the second layer from the top. Hold down the shift key, click on the bottom layers, and then insert the keyframe. Then play it. Okay, that's good. So let me zoom in and zoom out. And also, like we did, I want to make it stay maybe three seconds more. So I'm... Um, up to 4 second mark, highlight the frame number um, 120 on top layer, hold down the shift key, click on the bottom layers, then insert the keyframe. So it will stay 3 more seconds and then it will replay. So let me save this file as animation number 2 in my folder and then let me export it, export video and media everything's the same entire movie and then my location let me double check animation number two save it make sure you check this bottom box start out of media encoder render queue immediately and export it let me check my folder i have animation number two watch one two three and it will replay okay that's good now number three new document again 600 pixel by 600 pixel again and free, uh, 30 frame rate html5 canvas created and double click your hand tool so we can view the whole stage and stage color i'm gonna switch to black and back to Adobe Illustrator, this one. Let me copy this. And back to Adobe Animate. And let me paste it in center. Check the second uh, radio button. Say OK. And same thing. Under Modify menu, Timeline, Distribute to Layers. And the highlight the frame number 10. Hold down the Shift key, click on the frame number 10. So all frame number 10 is selected and insert the keyframe. Now select the layer, hold down the shift key, click on the top layer. So we select the entire layer and the segments. Hold down the control key, place your mouse cursor somewhere in between 1 and 10 on any layer. Click, create classic twin. Now I'm going to rewind it. Let me select the whole thing. Okay, and then now what we're going to do is uh, let's try this uh, open transform tool transform. If you do not see this, it is under window menu and transform. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, make sure that your the constraint chain is linked. I'm going to make it bigger 200% at a time. Also, I'm going to rotate 90 degree angle. Also, I'm going to change the color effect, the alpha, down to zero. Okay, so watch this. This will happen. And then, 
Uh, let me hide. So my first keyframes are all highlighted. In my properties panel. Let me change the ease option up to 100. And watch. Okay. So all the bars are kind of coming in together. Now like we did from the first one and the second one, we will give a little bit different time gap. So first layer, the bottom layer, leave it as it is. Second layer, let me zoom in. Move to the right three more frames. Next, three more. Next, three more. Next, three more frames to the right. Three more. Three more. And the top, the last one, three more. So once you play it, you're going to see there's only one bar left. So like we did, we need to extend the images on other layers too. So we can view a whole thing. So highlight the frame on the second layer from the top. Hold down the shift key. And click on the bottom. Insert the keyframe. And play. See what happens. It's pretty cool. Is it nice? Okay. So let me zoom out. Like we did, I'm going to uh, extend it up to a 4 second mark. So I highlight the 4 second mark on top layer. Hold down the shift key. Click on the bottom. Oops. Again. And insert the keyframe. I'm going to save my file as this time animation number 3 in my folder. And let me export it as an mp4 file. Go to file. Export. Export video and media. 600 by 600 pixel entire movie H264. And my location, my destination is my folder that is correct. And check the uh, start Adobe Media Encoder button on the bottom. Then export it. Let me check my folder. Animation number 3.mp4. Let me play it. 1, 2, Three, A will play again. Okay. So we did three uh, animation today. So the first one was this animation number one. Pretty simple, but it's pretty cool. And animation number two. And animation number three. Okay. So uh, we created the, um, uh, three different animation techniques uh, using the, uh, just one same logo. I hope you enjoyed this video. And then uh, I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.